448 now. Time to take a look at what's going on outside, and I think mm. the picture tells the entire story. It this does. fog is really causing a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. It's not only just kind of murky out there, not but yet. anyone traveling to try and get to a destination, get home, is going to find some issues with it. We've had the fog around since you know this time yesterday morning mm -hmm. because it pretty much stuck around all day yesterday into last night. It was causing some uh, issues with the flights, of course. We're seeing some issues this morning with that as well. Dense fog advisory. That's until 7 o'clock this morning for the entire region. You can see that on the screen looking at that gray shaded area across our area. That's again looking at these visibility numbers very low. Zero visibility in Smithfield, about a half mile Providence and about three tenths of a mile there in Newport and out towards New Bedford. So again, give yourself some extra time if you're heading on out early this morning at any point because we have the fog out there. This is supposed to be the capital city. But you can see it's dark out. There's fog. Can't see a whole lot behind me there. Better shot, though, here in Lincoln. You can see there is fog, but the visibility is not quite as low here. So, again, it's very uh, location dependent as well, really favoring the uh, areas around the bay and at the coastline. Temperatures, upper 30s, lower 40s at the coastline. You can see 41 westerly, 41 Newport. We'll see these temperatures rise through the day into the upper 40s to near 50. Radar right now is quiet as well across our area, but we have some rainfall across parts of Pennsylvania, New York, down towards the Mid-Atlantic and Carolinas. This is all working its way towards us. It's going to be arriving here later on today, especially tonight and into early Thursday. Threat tracker this morning, medium category. That's for the dense fog advisory. This afternoon won't actually be that bad. We should see dry conditions for the early afternoon hours, giving way to some showers as we go towards dinner time. Then tonight, we're going to bump it back up to that medium category for some rain, likely patchy fog once again. And some of that rain could be heavy at times, especially during the overnight hours. Satellite and radar, you can see again, wet weather to our west, uh, clouds in place, fog as well. Large storm system off to our west, a lot of fronts and low pressure systems and centers across here. So, uh, you know, pretty much ignore that part. But what we're looking at is rainfall arriving later on tonight and into tomorrow. So we can time it all out for you going forward. Clouds in place, temperatures in the 40s as we go forward here. This is 11 a.m. time bar at the top of your screen, 5 p.m. So the p.m. commute today, some rainfall around. Looks to be on the lighter side for now, but again, looking at some wet conditions on those roadways. And then the heavier stuff makes its way through later on tonight. Here's 11 p.m. Temperatures in the 40s hovering there. Overnight, 4 a.m. Still looking at some rainfall, moderate to heavy at times into the pre-dawn hours tomorrow. And that continues as we go into tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Still looking at some rainfall pushing on through. It should clear on out mid to late morning. Leftover showers here for the afternoon. Notice those temperatures, though, still hovering in the 40s. Cloud cover still expected throughout our Thursday as well. So we're not seeing much sunshine at all this week across our area. You can see seven day forecast here as I go forward. Unsettled weather continuing not only Thursday, but also Friday into parts of the weekend with shower chances, rain on Friday. Temperatures do take a dip though back into the 40s for Friday and Saturday. As we go into the new year, looking at temperatures for daytime highs in the low 40s, overnight lows in the mid and upper 20s. Of course, get that full seven day forecast anytime on our website at WPRI.com.